my name is Brian Ness from the Port Coquitlam Heritage Society and we're here today at Veterans Park in Port Coquitlam in front of the City Hall here at Shaughnessy and McAllister at the War Memorial Cenotaph where many of us will gather on November 11th this year to pay homage to the, to the men who died in past wars for our freedom. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the history of the Cenotaph which goes back to 1923 just five years after the end of the First War, when the citizens of Port Coquitlam came together and collected funds to erect the cenotaph on what we know now as McMitchell Park on the city's north side. And on a cold Sunday, November 11th of 1923, that cenotaph was unveiled by Mayor Arthur Mars, himself a wounded veteran of the First War, the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Here's another story, a connection of Vimy Ridge I'd like to tell you about with a, with a fellow here, a young fellow named Herbert Bradley. Now Herbert Bradley was only 14 years old in 1916 when he lied about his age and enlisted in the Canadian Army and went overseas to fight in the Battle of Vimy Ridge in April of 1917. Now Herbert Bradley was severely poisoned by the mustard gas that was used in the fighting and was evacuated to England where his true age was, was discovered and he was uh, drummed out of the army. Herbert Bradley returned to Canada and died of the Spanish influenza epidemic that was sweeping the land the day after Christmas, December 26, 1918. Herbert Bradley was 16 years old. It makes you wonder why a boy so young would, would enlist underage in the army and go off to fight in a far off land to see his comrades fall by the thousands in the face of murderous machine gun fire. For the glory, some said. For king and country, said others. I'd like to think that they fought for peace, to bring peace to the world, to end that war to end all wars. On November 11th, when they call out Herbert Bradley's name at the Cenotaph, think of a scared young boy crouching in the mud with the guns and the shells and the gas all around, fighting for peace our peace, lest we forget.